Warning, this game contains flashing lights, loud noises, and lots of jump scares. Bertram Station, 30th of October, 2015. This has gone on for too long. What's going on, you guys? Andrew Gaga, and welcome to Five Nights at Smudger's Story. Yes, the third game in the series. I've been excited. I've been wanting to play this game for a long time, and I'm actually gonna get the chance to. So let's start a new game. The Midsoto Museum. After being closed down twice, the Midsoto Railway has now been turned into a museum, which is opening in a week's time, featuring train rides around the establishment, real-life relics, and a gallery of the engines that worked there long ago. Also now for a limited time only, the museum is given horror tours which include spooky props and scary stories about Smudger and Duke the Missing Engine. If you have any questions about the place, please call 1888 Midsummer Museum and there's Duke the Lost Engine. Alright, let's get started. Night 1. Alright, we got a phone call. Let me see. Hey, <laughs> get to touch Smudger's nose. Makes you happy. Hey man, so here it is. Your first night at the Midsorder Museum. I really Who's honestly China? do hope that you enjoy your stay here. Uh, we almost have everything set up to open next week. Even though we might be a little too late to do the Halloween tours, uh, we still think it might be a different very cool idea phone, for us to try it out. And hey, we might make a bit more money off of it. Um, However, we still need a train to give the tours around the museum, even though these days the most trains have that new transport system that allows them oh, to ride on rails just as much as on them. Uh, they probably are gonna, we're probably just gonna stick to uh, a train that rides on the rails, uh, since the outside is all grassy and bumpy. Uh, yeah, but the new transport system thing is it's only useful for uh, really like riding on concrete and other flat surfaces. Oh, the sound um, went off one. Would that be bad? We also Another? know that you worked on the mid sort of railway back in the day. Uh, uh -huh, I did work on the mid sort of railway back in the day. Wow. Jeez. 98 years old. Wow, isn't it's that right? How you still not dead. Um, <clears throat> uh, I didn't, sorry, I didn't mean to sound a little, I didn't mean to sound rude there. Um, it's alright. Uh, forgive me for that. But, uh, let me explain how all your systems work. Okay. Uh, the monitor on your left uh, allows you to view all the cameras around the place. Uh -huh. Obviously, just to make sure no thieves or little kids get in, you know. Of course. Uh, but here is the more important stuff I need to explain to you. On cameras 2, 4, 9, and 10, there are yep, point the switch point. buttons. I see the point switches. Pressing these will allow you to block off the part of the track to get the engine back to where it's supposed to be. Yeah. So, this is if any pesky kids get on the train in the daytime and decide to ride it around. Um, All right, cool pictures. Even though we don't have an engine yet, at least uh, it's set up for everyone to go on. So, uh, if any time in the night the switches go faulty and cause an error, go over your go over to your system console okay. and on your right press the text of the system that has an error to reboot it and fix it. Uh, this will take a little while though, so um, be patient. Okay, um, I know. The next thing is the mind shutters. Yep, I see them. Now on the monitor, there is a button that says map toggle. Pressing this button allows you to switch between the outside and the mind cameras. Um, we have to put train tracks in there uh, as well for the train. Um, to ride on to. Well, there but, are train uh, tracks in there. Because of all the debris and sharp objects inside there, it's just too dangerous to enter right now. So, if you see anyone in there at day or night, um, double click the mine camera button okay. and close it off. Uh, there are a couple more systems that are currently installing right now, but because right. they are not done yet, I don't need to explain them to you right now. Sounds good. Um, there shouldn't be any problems without them at the moment. Right. Uh, anyway, but as 
soon as they are done, I will uh, tell you how to use them. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so I think that's pretty much it for now. Uh, just watch the cameras. If anything happens, okay. do exactly what I've told you before. Um, uh, have a good night, and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. All right, so it sounds like I gotta chip these cameras. Seems like this this game is a Five Nights at Freddy's copy. It's got like the Five Nights at Freddy's three. No, it's a Five Nights at Freddy's three copy. My bad. And it's got Five Nights at Freddy's three mechanics in it. So yeah. Oh, it's four a.m. already. Hmm. Here, watch this. This is funny. <laughs> it makes me happy that I get to touch Smudger's nose. <laughs> oh, I like when I, I like when I get to touch the posters' nose and I get to touch their noses. Huh? <laughs> it's so cute. No, it's not cute. It's, it's so funny. Is it 4 a.m. or 5 a.m.? I can't tell by the number. It looks like it's hieroglyphics. Heart rate? Huh? I wonder what's that for. I guess I'll figure it out when I um eventually. Nice ceiling fan. Usually I have a fan nearby me, but this is a ceiling fan. Oh, there's a middle hallway there. Oh, it's 5 a.m. already. I couldn't really identify what that was, so, um... It's alright. We figured it out. We figured out those numbers. They're not really hieroglyphics. They just wrote them a different way. I don't know what that is. Hey, it's a wooden really model of Emily. <laughs> I don't know what that's doing there, but I've seen wooden rowing models in the previous game of um, Smudger, Proteus, and Bertram. I don't know about Scruffy. Emily's one of the, a part of the fleet, like one of the main characters, so. She's been in a couple episodes. Unlike most of the characters in this game. Uh, okay, whoops, sorry. Alright, 5 a.m. Or should I say 5 o'clock a.m.? Well, not 6 o'clock a.m. Yay! What's that sound? Oh, we get a mini game or cutscene. What was that noise? Oh, we get a mini game. I better go check it out. Oops, my mouse is falling. Oh, I play as that guy to the mouse. Oh, I moved this way. Okay. I'm playing as a guy. I don't think anyone is out here. <gasps> Smudger! Smudger, you're alive! How? I was in the storage, remember? I'm disappointed in you. You were the owner of Bertram Station and you left me and the others to rot. After how loyal you were as the owner of Smudger's Railway, I never expected you to do such a thing. I didn't know what to do. I panicked and I feel so bad. I'm still suffering though. The police are still looking for me for hiding and fixing you up. Uh-oh. But don't worry, I'm going to go back to Bertram Station to rescue the others, but I have something else to tell you. I saw in the newsletter that Smudger's Railway has been reopened. It's called the Midsodor Museum, and the guy you have been looking for, you know him, or as everyone calls him, the old manager. He's working there as a night guard. Oh, I guess I get to play as him. I shouldn't be helping you with this, but I can't have you mistaking other people as him, and then killing them for not real that them not realizing. Huh? Oh, I guess he's confused. Whoa. Alright, well, we will take on Night 2 in the next video. Oh, it's Smudger. We will take on Night 2 in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please hit like, subscribe, and comment. It helps me out, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.